All right, Dan, your watch has arrived. Um, apparently it's Italian, Fragile. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this unpacked. Wow, oh, that's a nice one. I love these turtles are just so great. Okay, well, here we are. Um, so let's see, we have a 19, 79, 6309, 7040 in really, really clean condition. My goodness, what a great looking specimen. This is just exactly how you want to find these. Look at that loom. Wow, what a beautiful watch. All right, so I'm not sure, quite sure where you found this, but I think you, uh, I think you found a good one. All right, so let's, let's go over condition. Um, so what you have, uh, as you know, is a early uh, Seiko 6309 diver. Um, just looking at your insert a little bit, overall really good, maybe a little dirty, but we can clean that up for sure. You've got a slight issue here. Um, that just may be loss of this uh, surface treatment. You're, uh, you got a glass pip here, that looks nice. Um, loom is good everywhere. You got some hazing on your hands and a little bit of corrosion on your second hand. I believe this might actually be either factory or a uh, original uh, glass. And we can leave that as it is or we can change it. Um, you got some hazing under your glass as, as well. So there's certainly been a little bit of water in the watch um, just over time. Um, I'm gonna try and take your case back off. I wanna check your uh, your uh, your crown here to see how the how it threads and they look pretty good. So far so good. Um, so that that's encouraging for sure. Um, we have to rebuild these these crowns and they uh, they're a bit of a, a bit of a pain but you know you still have your this sort of two color sort of brushing on the back here. It's really nice. So that that is a, such a nice thing to see. This is a great looking watch. Your dial from uh, from this perspective looks really good. Your insert is pretty clean. You've got some damage here uh, between 7 and 8 o'clock. Uh, there's a little bit of loss. And that's, again, due to some moisture, I think, that's been in the watch. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's certainly a little bit of, uh, of damage in here um, near midnight. Um, so, you know, it's a, it's a great watch. you got a good click. Um, you're going to need a new, of course, all new seals everywhere, but there's a seal underneath here that's going to... Uh, secure this pretty well um, so that that's gonna come out really nice um, so I think I think we're at a good starting point for sure um, it was running for a moment it may need to get some power put into the mainspring here so I'm gonna check your numbers real quick before we try and open the watch I just want to check the as arrived state um, before we look at your movement um, this is a a 6309, so non-hacking, um, you know, one of one of Seiko's Seiko's standard good movements. All right, so we're gonna really try and give it a wind. Okay. okay. So, um, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're sort of in a state of uh, not really running, um, and it's it's a combination of factors. You know, it's. It's probably never been serviced, uh, which we'll find out in a moment, see if there's a marker in there. But with that, you know, I'm sure that everything within the movement 
has old, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting, I, my, my machine can't even hear the movement running. Um, it's so weak. Um, so that, that's a combination of things. Um, probably you have old gummed up lubricant. Um, they didn't use, you know, specific kinds of lubrication that had something, something showing up. Uh, that, that had sort of long staying power and you wouldn't expect it to, to last for 45 years or so. Um, okay. Well, all right. So we're going to, we're going to take that off and, and uh, come back to the bench here. Okay. Well, there's that. Um, get me in a position where I can actually see it. Okay. So I want to check some more functions here. I'm going to unscrew your crown. I'm going to go to your well, first, let me get the hands out of the way. So the hands do move. That's good. <laughs> so that's a good sign. Uh, let's take a look at day. Oh, okay. So that that could just be an issue of things not in the right position. Again, lubrication matters here because this is a, a pinion that's going to have to move back and forth on a, or a pivot uh, with a gear on it. Um, I can get your, your day, uh, but your date is not turning. But, you know. We'll, we'll figure that out. I, I know what these look like on the inside, and that's that's an issue that, that's probably down to lubrication. Okay, we're also going to have to get this on the machine and, and open it up. Give me one more. Okay, so I've got that loosened up. So let's go ahead and continue on with our look. All right, so I see some shiny parts. Interesting. Yeah, so, you know, it wants to run, and that's encouraging. Ones that sit for a long time. Oh, let's look under your case back here. Absolutely no marks, as anticipated. Um, your seal is flat as a pancake and hard, pretty hard. Um, that should be a circle, <laughs> not a not a rectangular cross section. Um, you know, your balance looks like it's it's good and true. Um, no lubrication under your cap jewel, of course, as you would expect. This here. Uh, for your balance, uh, but you know it looks pretty clean. Is that dirt that fell in? Could be. Yes, I think that's from your, from around your seal here. Um, yeah, so this looks like a nice untouched watch. I think it uh, it just hasn't been hasn't been fooled around with, um, and that's good. That's actually good to see. Um, so. I don't think this is going to be a hard service. Um, it's going to be pretty straightforward, and um, you know I will be in touch uh, as we get spot uh, open up, and we'll we'll get to work. Um, we'll talk about crystal and what to do uh, about that uh, as we go. Um, everything else seems to be in good working order. Um, these spring bars are the wrong size, um, so I would recommend that we we replace these with something um, something correct. They're really hard to get out of the case, and I don't I don't think they're they're certainly not factory original, um, so, and they don't and they don't fit properly. So I would say uh, let's move to another another set, but they'll come back to you. All right. Well, thanks again, and uh, I look forward to. Um, to getting this to you and we'll be in touch about uh, timing. Thanks a lot.